Oh, good, did you good. do the theme song? No, we don't have a I'm theme song. Working on, I'm working he on was it. working on it. He got oh. his thing done. Yeah, he's doing it. It's, yeah, it's in the works. It it's in the works. Right. I have everything sorted out. All right. I'm so excited. I'm Angelo Scarlatti. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, let's get. Okay. okay. <clears throat> readjust, readjust. All right. 200 pounds of asshole hanging off. 183, fat boy! Whatever. Tell that to my silk socks. Why are you wearing silk socks? Is that a joke? All right. All right. Welcome Welcome right my face, Garrett. To the fourth episode of Silk Socks. Even though Silk Socks has been around for what six weeks? Six weeks. It's <laughs> been around for seven months. Two months. <laughs> and we have four episodes. But seven months. It's this, been the works for seven. Months. This lovely episode is being broadcast from sunny Los Angeles, California, the greatest place uh, to well, make well, anything. Well, hold on, slow your roll. It's, we're not in California. We what are, are you talking about? We, we got back from California, what is it, two, two weeks ago? About a month ago. Yeah. A month ago, one month ago. Yeah. Sure we got I, back. Well, then what's with all these palm Dude, trees here? Palm trees? They're, we're that's inside. A, that, that's a ceiling fan that you just pointed. No, that's, that's, a, ceiling fan. that's a palm tree. That's No, that's, nope. not the, that's not. Well, then what about why am I eating an In-N-Out burger right now? You're, but not. you're not. You're holding your cell phone. You're holding a cell phone. Your cell phone's in your mouth. Your cell phone's in your mouth. I taste delicious to me. There's some Thousand Island dressing on there. It's Island. Good. Angelo. Island. Do you eat cell phones a lot? No, I eat in and out burgers. I mean, is, this have... why, is this why you're like this now? Is this why you don't understand? They don't know until you try it. But anyway, so, and I was on the 101 just recently. Like, I, I got on the 101 a to month, get here. A month ago. No, I was. I got on the 101 and I got here. Got here then, to your house. No, this is our hotel room. Right. Is it? It doesn't feel like that. Your time. parents are upstairs in their bedroom. Yeah, they came down to visit us because oh. we ext- remember we extended our trip. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. I guess we're in California. We are in California. Oh, that's California's pretty cold. <clears throat> California is cold. It's yeah. like ninety degrees out. Cool. No, no, no. Never mind. <laughs> oh man, is that George Clooney over there? Exactly. Is George Clooney in our hotel room? See, there's famous people. It's, there's famous it's great. people. Except we never mm-hmm. saw any famous people. Up we until now. Famous except, people. Yeah, at people. the events, yeah. But at not events. like walking around. I thought I was going to see at least five celebrities. Well, it's not, it's not like a celebrity zoo. Like, you know, you well, just like, maybe you walk around be. and yeah, it's like, 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 oh, hey, there she is. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Take there's some Wanda pictures. Sykes eating a bagel. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and they have like tours and it's like, observe yeah. the Jack Nicholson in his natural habitat. He's having <laughs> a nice cognac. <laughs> it's Jack Nicholson, like, <laughs> like changing a spare tire or something like that. <laughs> He's like, get that camera out of my fucking face. <laughs> uh, so... Obviously, we are not in California, sadly. Oh. But oh, oh man! But oh, man. what a bummer. We did have a lovely time in California, and we would love to share our experiences mm-hmm. with you. And here we go. And here we go. Let them rip. We'll let Angelo <laughs> let start them rip. Off. Let them rip. Well, see, it was a weird trip because a lot of our time was devoted to flying. Flying. And like, how about the first day when we thought we were going to even miss our flight? Yeah. Oh, that was lovely. Okay, so there was this thing where we had a layover in Texas. I want to start there. Let's start at where we got to. First of all, when we were driving to the airport. Oh, I and forgot. I had That's to right. cycle, circle around the airport. <laughs> three times. Three twice. times. No, it was, it was three. No, three. Cir- circle twice, but I came back a third time. Yeah, we passed the thing three times. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, so yeah, we fair. couldn't get in the parking garage after because we three times. <laughs> we could not we, figure it out. We well, I mean, I feel like we said it like both times that you were supposed to go in there. Well, and you just all right, out fine. I was trying to, to believe. I us. was trying to distribute the blame, but are fine. You want to put it on yeah. me? Fine. I anyway, the bigger it. person here. So we get there, and the line for baggage claim is it's about a mile and a half long, and our flight is what was it like forty five? Yeah, we had like forty five minutes, and we were like, like "Oh fuck, we're gonna miss our like, plane." I'm smart. I brought a carry on. I was ready to get on the flight in, t- in two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah, Scott could have left us because they have this like self checkout thing for carry ons. Could have left y'all. She did. You're right. I didn't state. Because what would I have done? Exactly. Honestly, what would I have done? But that's what I'm going to yeah, do next. Without time. my big bag, we wouldn't have had an N64 to not play <laughs> at the hotel right. room. Exactly. Packed an N64 that we never. Played. Well, because the, the TV freaking had thing. no holes. 
No holes. And it didn't have a remote. It didn't have a remote that you could change the inputs. The in. remote is right. probably, it looked like a kid's toy. It was made out of yeah. probably the cheapest plastic out of China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It like, looked like it looked like a Sesame Street phone where it's like there's no numbers, it's just Elmo's face <laughs> and Big Bird's face. Like that's where the buttons were on this. It was like, and so you had to guess what channel. It's like, yeah, yeah. oh, turn on Cookie Monster, Big Bird. Yeah, <laughs> see yeah. what that is. It's like, oh, this is the Playboy channel. <laughs> Interesting. It's Interesting. like, whoops. Leave it on. So yeah, we had <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> we had to worry about the flight, and then we got on the flight, yep. and I thought it was going to be good. Until I found out what movie they were playing. <laughs> they were in playing the uh, Oz the Great and Powerful. This is going to be a five hour long podcast. We're only which, I was, which I was like, oh, you know, I've wanted to see this movie. So this, you know, gets yeah. me through. Angel, what did you think about that movie? That movie. And go ahead and give it your... The, the best thing I can say about that movie is it was a missed opportunity. They had all That's that money. the best thing you can say about it. They had all that money that they could put into it. And they put a lot of money into it. And they had special effects, which weren't the best. But they had special yeah, effects. Yeah, it was special pretty awful. bad. But they had all this money. And then they actually had a story that at multiple points could have been good if they would have just push it a little further like there were so many points where they were like well we're just not going to develop this anymore and they just decided to make it basically a very cover face value kind of film and mm-hmm. that's what it was i mean this the costume design which i actually really like yeah very that good single handedly handedly <laughs> the worst movie i have seen in a long time well see that's because you've never seen birdemic yeah but, or Sharknado. But which, by the way... <laughs> oh, wait, Can Sharknado. we talk about Sharknado? <laughs> oh, my God. Sharknado. I haven't seen it, but I really want to. I have do. you heard about this movie? You no. had to have. I, I've heard of the movie, but because of that Glee star that died of heroin overdose, that was the last thing he tweeted about. Oh, really? Was Sharknado. Oh, man, that's, that's Dude, awkward. This tornado made all of sharks. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> Corey <laughs> Matthews. movie? You should really like our Sharknado. Like a, like a no, 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 it's like a sci-fi original movie. You have to see the trailer because it's hilarious. Like... Like, there's a scene in the trailer where it's like, there are sharks everywhere, and it's a shark flies through a building, and then a shark flies into a billboard, and it's like, they show it, and in the middle of a city, there is like a, a swarm of sharks just flying <laughs> in the air, just just floating in the air at one point. It's amazing. Does it look like, it's the, does it look really poorly done? Oh, yeah. It's well, yeah. It's, it's, horrible, it's, it's, horrible. It's, it's, like, it's like if I could... It's like that World War Z trailer where, like, the zombies are, like, mad. It's just this blob of yeah. zombie matter. Yeah, but worse. But, but worse, worse? Oh, <laughs> God. You know what? what's weird about World War Z? Because we've all decided that we hate that movie. But it it's, got good reviews. It got good reviews. And every person who's seen it said they couldn't sleep for days after they saw it. But like, they said it was genuinely How can you? Yeah, scary. No There's way. no it's a They said it was genuinely door. scary. Everybody was like, oh my god, this is the scariest and movie ever. This movie. It looked like I Am Legend. It looked like a really shitty I Am Legend. <laughs> a really shitty but, I Am Legend. again, we haven't seen it. And apparently, yeah, it got some yeah. really good reviews. So we might have to check that out. Might check it out. But so, Oz the Great and Powerful. Horrible movie. And, Fucking shit. And so we, then we get into Texas. So we're like, okay, we're in the Houston airport. Church. We got Church. We got 20 minutes to get to our next flight. Which we were like, oh my god, we're going to fucking run through this airport. And then come to find out. On the monitor, yeah, it says, hey, your flight's canceled. <laughs> That's hey. at the monitor. And you're like, hey, your flight's canceled. Your flight's canceled. And, and then we're, we're like, like, how is this possible? How is this possible? So we go to the desk, and Lee says, oh, there's no crew. And it's like, what? There's no crew for the plane flight that was scheduled for this time. <laughs> there's no crew. No, the flight crew's all at Denny's. <laughs> yeah, they're all at Denny's eating. They're like, I feel like we're forgetting something. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, let's order more pancake puppies. We're good. <laughs> oh, you know, you're right, all right. Mm. Great. I think I left the iron great. on. And they're like, no, you had, a, you had a plane to pilot. You had a plane to take it's care like, of. like, what? Also, the plane's gone. The airport was like the least organized airport. <laughs> the plane's gone. Where is it? Oh, wait, no, it's over here. It's, it's in baggage claim. It's, in, it's fine. It it's going around on the spinner. It's going around on the spinner. The airplane's got a... It's at Denny's. And it's got a hole in the shape of an iron. That's burning. <laughs> yeah, it's burning through the side. It's of like it. I knew I left the iron on. Thank God. Thank God oh, it was here, man. though. Oh, man. It's parked outside of Denny's with the iron <laughs> <laughs> they oh drove the plane. Yeah, they drove to the plane to Denny's. They were like, "Hey, you know what? Fuck this plane." <laughs> that's almost as <laughs> terrifying as tornado. <laughs> that's almost. So we're like, we're like, what are we gonna Imagine do? That. 
And then they say, oh, well, you'll just get on the next flight. When's the next flight? Seven o'clock at night. Yeah. And now we got there. What time were we there at? We were there at like 9 a.m. So they're saying, oh, you're going to just have to wait the whole day, basically. Wait about 15 minutes. And our first response was, oh, well, maybe we can go see Houston. And we were like, wait a minute. We're going to take a bus. We're definitely, we're going to, you know, our luck, we're going to come back and, you know, we'll miss our flight. So we're like, no, we're staying in the airport. And then Dion's like, which is our other friend who came with us, he's like, well, okay, let's see if we can get a better flight. And, um... So they're, we're trying, you know, he's calling people. Not, Ben's mom right, is calling fine. people because she wanted to be involved for whatever oh, reason. Yep. And, and so, like, everybody's calling. And so finally we get, our next bet was two flights because, like, Ben and I would go on a flight. And we'd get there first, and then we'd wait two hours for the next group. And we were like, and then Dion's like, well, we can do that. Or we can, he eventually got it to where we'd all get on the second flight. And I was like, well, let's do that. We feel more comfortable doing that. And so we get on that one. That one's still, though, at, like, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So we still had to wait. It's a lot. It's four hours earlier. Yeah, which was better. But we still had to wait. What? How long did we wait there? Like, that's, like, like seven, eight hours. Seven or eight hours. Seven hours, probably. We waited a long time there. And basically, we learned what the Houston airport looks like. Yeah, our first day of vacation was, like, eating at a Wendy's in the Houston airport. (laughs) That was the, like, high point of that day. And then we had that shit breakfast at that... Oh, yeah. Remember and that? that? And it was... At that Thai restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't we even walked a into a restaurant, restaurant, and they're serving southern, like, home-cooked breakfast, and Angela's asking us, he's like, where are you guys eating? And Garrett picks up the phone and goes, we're at a Thai restaurant. I didn't even say restaurant. I said we're a buffet. Thai buffet. Thai buffet. We're at a Thai buffet. It was not a buffet. You had to pay for each individual meal, and then it was southern food. Because I, I looked, I, like, glanced up at the top, and I and there was a Thai. No, was no, like, you saw a gong. And you thought that yeah, that was I the... Guess that was we're like, at a Thai buffet. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. like the complete opposite of a Thai buffet. And the airline food is like... If you've ever eaten an airline, they basically jack up the prices to the point where you have to spend $20 yeah. to eat anything. And they also jack down the temperatures because when we ate our food, mine was like cold. Yeah, mine was like cold. Like straight up cold. And it was under a heat lamp. And I was like, well, it's the heat lamp. Is the lamp working? See, it's funny. I probably spent more on my breakfast, but I actually had a good breakfast because I had like this great like egg croissant from this like place. My breakfast was pretty expensive as well. How much did you pay? I don't know. I forget everything in that restaurant. I paid. I paid fifteen dollars for breakfast that day. Exactly. I probably paid like ten. It was it was horrible. It was horribly expensive. So anyway, so we're in there. It's horrible. We're like we're done. We're basically done, and we're like, and then finally our flight comes up. We get to L.A. We're like, thank goodness we're at least here. And then we try to get the rental car, but then there was a... Oh, God, don't you... <laughs> okay, I'll, ahead, just, I'll just glance it over up, it. Basically... It, it took us about three hours. For no reason. It was, it was silliness. Basically, we had a snafu with the rental car, and we yeah. end up finally getting a you Nissan Versa. <laughs> <laughs> and so we finally get a Nissan Versa, which makes me think of Heroes because I've been watching Heroes recently. And uh, I don't know why? The one, <laughs> why do you do that it's a yourself? great show. Season four is horrible, but every other every other season is pretty it is. Good. I like it. It's a good show. But yeah, they they drive around the Nissan Versa. But anyway, <laughs> so um, we're finally in LA, and we're like, yeah, we're in LA. It's gonna be great. We're gonna do so much stuff. And then what did we do the next day? We went to Let's Make a Deal. That's right. We went to Let's Make a Deal. Okay, that was fun. Yes. Now, we yeah, can't... You're the only one that won money. And... Shh, we can't talk about that. Well, they don't know who I said. Oh, okay. They don't know who I was talking to. Shh. Okay, so we can't talk about what happened there, but let's just say we went to Let's Make a Deal. Yep. I was dressed as a dog. Scott was... I was a clown. A clown. I was and a convict. Garrett was, was a convict. convict. It was perfect. And you'll see, you'll see Garrett and I on there a yep. lot. You'll see me. <laughs> you'll see Garrett. It, Definitely. It's tentative release is September 30th, so check us out on Let's Make a Deal. It's our debut on TV. We may or may not have won something. May or may not. I won a Nissan Versa. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it was so funny because they had a Nissan Versa up there, and yeah. then they were like, and we were like, hey, it's our car. <laughs> so anyway, yes. so we did that. That was fun. I really did like Let's Make a Deal. I love, yeah, Even I though love, I it, love doing that. I, it, that was the hardest place for me to get into for whatever reason. Because I couldn't you didn't remember. Know your social security. I couldn't remember my social, which ended, it turned out I didn't even need to to know it. I could have just emailed it to them later. But anyway, 
Um, and then I did, I had the camera with me and they're like, oh, well, if it's not part of your costume, you can't take it in. And I, so I had to walk back to the, now I'm we, a dog photographer. <laughs> <laughs> we did not Excuse park. Me. We did not park in the usual, like we didn't park by, we parked like on the other side of the studio. So I had to like walk back. It's, it's like a two minute walk. <laughs> it was a five calm, minute walk. Calm yeah. yourself. It was, it was a long walk. It was a pretty long walk. It was a long walk. But anyway, so I had to walk back and then I come back in and then, but let's make a deal. It was really fun. So we did that, and then I was surprised how into like I how invested I was in the people that were actually playing, like how yeah. invested I was if they won. I was like, I was like, won the cur- the big box, the big box, and no one ever, no one agreed with my decision. No one, yeah, no one ever did. did no one ever did my thing either. Mm-hmm. Fuck those people. Mm-hmm. Uh, see, I always said keep the money because I'm I'm always like if I get money, dude, I'm if it went over a thousand, money. I was like just keep the money. Just exactly, keep the money, keep that's money. what you do. I liked seeing behind the scenes because it was funny because, like, Wayne sometimes would mess up on stuff or he'd say, like, a curse word, and you got to see him, like, like he basically he just... Him, so it he was said... Funny. He went full out with the curse, and remember that one Well, part? yeah, because he said asshole, and he's like, oh, wait, I can't say yeah, that. No, he, he said, said like, asshole. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, because he tried to save himself. He just kept saying asshole over and over again. Yeah. yeah. That was funny. And then you basically had to see him redo it, and there's a lot of, like, we had to do some... Acting, yeah, that was funny because like the what the woman one woman lost something, yeah, and then mm-hmm. they had to redo her losing it, so they had to redo her reaction to yeah. losing it, so she had to lose something twice. And it was and it was funny too because the guys like I understand we're giving away all the secrets of Let's Make a Deal right now. The guys like I know that like you know you might pick money and you're like you're happy even though you like you know we reveal a car, but it's like for a moment you have to have a moment of regret. Yeah. So that the audience understands, yeah. and then oh. then you can be happy. But you gotta you gotta be like, oh, but at least I have the it's money. Like I could have had designer women's shoes. Oh, yeah, there were some stupid. Places. I could have had a new fridge. But um, oh, well, just to just to crush more, let's make a deal, dreams. Wayne Brady doesn't pick anyone off the fly in the audience. They're all chosen beforehand. Yes, I was. That was disappointing. And also, whatever cash anyone's handed. Gets taken away from them yes. immediately. The producer comes after, up and says, <laughs> oh, no, you're, we're going to have to take that back. But it is real money. Not that I would know. And now that all the magic is gone. <laughs> yeah. We basically killed the Let's Make a Deal magic. They're going to like. They're yeah. gonna be like, hey, you guys weren't supposed to say that. Shut down your podcast. <laughs> Two people know. Two people know about our Let's Make a Deal thing. <laughs> we're going to get a copyright claim from people. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Let's make a deal. Like, you see Wayne Brady knocks on Angelo's door. And Angela's like, I've always wanted to meet you two times. <laughs> always wanted to meet you too, but not in this situation. Mm, not in this context, Wayne. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. So that was, it was fun. It was fun. I enjoyed it. And I noticed, one thing I noticed about LA, I mean, I noticed a lot of things, but one thing that really stood out, they have a lot of fucking billboards in LA. Like, I mean, New York has a lot of billboards, but New they have a the lot billboards? of- billboards? They have a lot of billboards, and specifically a lot of movie billboards. There were- That was, yeah. There were like 50. Five million yes, the Despicable Me two and Grown Ups two. Like Grown Ups two was everywhere. World War Z. World War Z was everywhere. Because I came back and I was with someone at the movies and they looked at a poster and they were like, "Oh, Grown Ups two is coming out." And I was like, you "How do you not it. know?" Because like we've been in LA, it's like every block was another thing for Grown Ups two. They had a blimp for Despicable yeah, they Me. Yeah, blimp. they had a blimp. Blimp. Like, I didn't even is, know blimps existed. Why still? is all the marketing just going, just staying in LA? Like why don't they just spread that marketing somewhere exactly. else? Exactly. Um, mm-hmm. What I noticed was that there was so many, like everything is gated over there. Yes, lots of everything. gates. Everything is gated. It's got a gate. There's got nothing gates that's... for the gates. <laughs> gates Layers gates. of gates. <laughs> and and the weird thing about LA too is like the part that we were in, like North Hollywood. So like NoHo, NoHo. Yes. No there, ho. So we weren't actually in the city, but like it was so weird because like one block would be like nice houses, and then the next block could be like you know Shit. shitty, yeah. you know like. Block houses, free to ghetto in like three seconds. It was very strange. Like I, I thought that was odd. And then it's like I was in Inglewood for a brief moment, which I, my Pulp Fiction fanboy was like, "Oh, I'm in Inglewood. Maybe I'll see Jules hanging out here." <laughs> oh my god! Speaking of Samuel and that's Jackson, the Pulp Fiction reference of the day. Speaking of Samuel Jackson, did you know he's in the movie Turbo as a snail? I knew you were going to say that. Like as soon as you said Samuel, I was like, he's going to say the thing about Turbo because it's like. I just was so shocked that because it's so strange, <laughs> such a strange thing. But I, I mean, it'll, it might get be this motherfucking salt off my motherfucking body. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That's what, what he needs to do. That's going to sound stupid, but is he, isn't he in a movie where he's got, like, an eye patch? Yes. What movie is that? He, that is The <laughs> Avengers. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Oh, well. That movie is The Avengers. Well. One of the highest grossing movies of all time. Well. Also, it's a character that he has played in every Marvel movie that has come out in the past five years. Not Thor. So he was in Iron Man. I think he was. He, was he in Thor? He, he was, was at the end of the credits Thor. in Thor. Yes. He was oh, in that, there Captain you go. America. I didn't see the end of the credits because I left because it was such a crap movie. <gasps> Well, okay, okay, you can say that about Thor. <laughs> don't you, don't you say that about Thor. Say that about Thor. I, I thought Thor was okay. But anyway, he's played that character in well, at five separate movies. I, I, I put out the warning. It's going to be a stupid, stupid sure. question. sure. He did, he did warn us. Okay. All I right. warned you. All right. All right. So, but anyway, that was, that was hilarious. But anyway, that so we're, we're in California and we're, uh, hold another on. thing. Yes. What's that? Okay. What's the movie where um, Christian Bale is wearing a bat mask? <laughs> what is that? Does anyone know what that is? I think that's Man of Steel. Is that Man of Steel? Yeah, yeah I think it's oh, Man of Steel. Okay, good, 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 good. I wasn't sure. I was going to say Man of Steel, but I didn't want to sound dumb. <laughs> I didn't oh say, God. Garrett just left. Garrett just left. Can we, acknowledge, can we acknowledge Garrett's haircut? <laughs> Because I think that's no the next thing it. to acknowledge. No one else can see it. Well, don't actually. You forget that I have been editing the podcast, oh, yeah, and right. I always put pictures of things that are going on. So you actually are seeing Garrett's face right now, despite what Scott had to say. No. And no. So, so Garrett, did you? Was this because you finally took our advice, or was this just? Wait, what? Our advice. You, you took our advice, advice. Our advice to get a shorter haircut. Wait, that was your advice? That was mine and Keaton's advice. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I took the I took the advice, and it's gonna look like shit on the pictures because I don't have a gel. <laughs> oh my it god, he looks... doesn't. He doesn't have a gel, folks. I actually put a, a disclaimer. No, being, You're seeing a disclaimer right now that says it's not. It's not gel. I'm sure it does. I'm it sure it genuinely does. Look like I'm getting a look at that forehead. I actually got a perfect. Damn that good one's forehead. the one. You a good forehead. Damn, good he does. Forehead. He has a good forehead. <laughs> Look it's good. It's look good at to it. have. Look at I it. Yes, it's good. It's good know. to have Energy a my forehead. forehead. So, um, let's oh, just man. hit some highlights for California, so we what can. What is the movie where Jim Carrey is? He has a green mask. What is that movie called? He has I, a green mask that he wears. I think it's Bruce Almighty. He has. Is that Bruce Almighty? No, wait, no, wait. It's Where's Eternal. What? It's um, Eternal it's Sunshine. Eternal Sunshine. Eternal Sunshine. Okay, good, 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 good. He was hilarious in that movie. No, he was. He was pretty funny in the movie. <laughs> Eternal Sunshine. That's fun, that's fun. Yes, he was hilarious in that movie. Oh man. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That was the funniest question I've ever heard anyone ask. <laughs> <laughs> and he, anyway. so damn I'm just giving you so much let's hit the highlights of Hollywood cause I just wanna I just we wanna still, we haven't glance. even we've got we said the first day I wanna briefly did. glance over what we did in Hollywood just to get so we go to CMF we didn't actually do a lot at CMF cause we didn't we yeah, didn't know what to we expect about. <laughs> we, we didn't know what CMF to expect and so we go to the mixer which was horrible cause we I forgot that we're all really socially awkward so we basically didn't talk to anybody Wait, you didn't know that and yeah. Well, I knew it, but I forgot for a moment. <laughs> and then as soon as I got in there, I was like, oh, wait, we don't do as if these we're going to, like, <laughs> mingle and, like, be the life of the party there or whatever. It's like, I'm only the life of the party if there's alcohol involved. And then, yeah. not even then. Exactly. I'm only the life of the party when it's, like, five people. <laughs> and I know all those people. I'm only the life of the party when, you know. Oh. Oh, Gary. Oh, no, no. Well. Oh, but no. so we so we go to that and then we're like oh wait let's just leave now before we embarrass ourselves. But we met some people. We met some kind of cool people. Mm-hmm. And it's funny because we met some people that actually ended up winning later in the week. Um, hey, which, what was that? The people over by the photo thing when we were going to get pictures by the red carpet, but we didn't. What and they they, they, they did do. um what they did the three uh, D one. They did the three D one. That's right. Movie one. Oh, and but, they um, made five films. 
during yeah, that week. Five films, and oh, Garrett and I, right. Garrett and I got this guy's business card before he we went to the. Arena I show. still have it. Because yeah, me too. Here's what happened, folks, in California. Angelo met hardly any of the film people. I didn't meet anybody. <laughs> We got all the attention. They did. Well, because they're the banana guys. That's what they were. They were the banana guys, which I love that. I love that, you know, people were recognizing them. And they basically got offered, like, movie deals. (laughs) (laughs) That dude from Boston wants to work with us. We met this guy from Boston who makes his own movies. Ooh, what's his name? Jack? Jack. Yeah, Jack. Shout out to Jack. I don't know you, Jack, but I hope to meet you. I'm friends with him on Facebook. There Mm -hmm. you go. Show him the podcast. He's in my phone. Top that. Oh, yeah, he is. He did give his number. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, suck it. Man, you guys get We're going to be making digits? Boston movies. We're going to make a movie with Ben Affleck. It's going to be great. <laughs> It'll be Mark perfect. Wahlberg. With Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ted, too. <laughs> it's Ted, I'm Mark too. Mark Wahlberg. I invented Entourage. <laughs> no, it's actually a so Ted. Me, it's actually a Ted and a, and a The Fighter crossover. <laughs> so it's going to be... I'm a boxer. He's a boxer with a friend who has a Christian Bale smoking I'm weed with the teddy bear. Yeah, yeah, Christian Bale. Oh, man. Christian Bale was emaciated in the movie. Mm. He was crazy. Good movie, though. Good movie. Good movie. Though. I like that movie. But anyway, so... Other highlights from California. We go to the award ceremony. The award ceremony was awesome. It was hosted so by awesome Adam Ferreira, yeah. who is a great comedian. He also hosts Top Gear, which is a show that I do not watch. Yeah. But <laughs> I hear it is a good plugging Top Gear? Um... <laughs> He made he made a really good joke about um, a Volkswagen, which I really liked. I liked the Volkswagen joke. Would you like to tell it? Okay, I'll tell him. For the, the audience. Don't make me sing. Don't make me sing. Well, he's talking about this one car. Don't make me tell jokes. And he says they have gall wing doors. And he's like, gall wing doors are pretty awesome. But he said, in my review, I said... Um, you have to open both at the same time. Because if you're only opening one, it's like the car's... Hiling, and it's like I don't want a German doing that anytime soon, and it's like it's like, and then we all laugh or like ha ha ha. And he's like he's like, are and you guys laughed at that, right? And he's like and he's like, uh, yeah. The producers they didn't like that joke. They said I should cut that out because people would get offended. It's like I don't think you should, you know, relate the car to you know a Nazi. Do you want to do that? And he's like, <laughs> it's like all I know is that car was pointing east, and it was. And had the door open, and that's not how I left it. <laughs> and it was good. Obviously, I didn't tell it as well as Mr. Ferreira, but you get the gist. You know what? Pretty good. I'm glad you did. I'm glad, <laughs> glad you we did. wasted this time. But also, Keegan Michael Key was there. He's yes, that was really comedian. cool. And, and the just, girl from Workaholics. Yes, that I keep forgetting her yeah, name. Yeah, who's her name? Yeah. And then Danny Pudi from Community was also Danny there. Danny was great. Been. Josh Peck. Josh, Josh Peck, Peck was there. That was strange. Josh Peck Before was they there. bring on Josh Peck, they're like... You know him best from the movie The Wackness. It's no, Josh no. Peck. It's like, no, um, no. No. You know him from Drake we and Josh. From Drake and Josh. Yes. We know no. you as the we... fat, silly one from Drake and Josh. Who loved Oprah. Yeah. So why don't you come out here? He was wearing all denim. He was wearing a denim jacket. That's right. He jeans, was. Denim shirt. Denim sunglasses. He was into that he denim. denim gel in his hair. Denim gel. He had denim injected into his veins. <laughs> denim grills. And whoever did... The like the picking the scenes for like the the guest stars like like the scene to encapsulate what they did it was horrible like none of them were funny none like, of them were they, funny and it was like these are really funny people so it's like how do you not pick funny scenes I forget what Keegan, scenes. I forget what Keegan Michael Keys was I feel like his was all right isn't his in the movie theater yeah his was was the oh, movie yeah, that's theater right, one. that's right and then Danny Pudi's they did. Him, they did a clip from Community where he's not, he's imitating Troy. He's not yeah. even doing Abed. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so it was like, why, why'd you do that? And then the one for the girl from uh, the middle, the, the middle. middle, that was that show is. It very was literally strange. like a, a moment where there were no jokes in the show that they played, and she came out and she was like, "Well, that was embarrassing because that wasn't funny at all," or something like that. She yeah, like, and, it out. and she said, "Like, trust me, I'm funny." <laughs> it's like we believe you. But yeah, like as soon as we saw the first nominee for Best Picture, we were like, oh, I guess we're not winning anything because we yeah, knew that the level... Because the movies there were so fucking awesome. The first, and the they first one we incredible. saw was um, 
the boy and the deer, or that's what it was called, yeah, right? The, the boy and the, and the deer. deer, which is a my great favorite. film. I think that one looked like Wes Anderson made that. Exactly, it looked like a Wes Anderson movie. It was crazy. And that one, I feel like that one should have won. The one that did one, Manta, was really cool that they built like this space station thing in their basement. But other than that, I feel like it was the boy. I like it was kind of boring, but. Yeah, I really like. Yeah, everyone should check those out there because they're all really cool. Yes, check out all of them. They are really good. I really liked. um, What was it? It wasn't the situation. What was the one where he's in the he's in the ballroom at the hotel? Oh man, the proceedings. The proceedings. proceedings. That That one. He he did a crazy guy really well, and I love people who can do crazy people. But that ending sucked. That ending sucked because it was horrible. And you know why they did that though? Because they didn't want it to be like. They didn't want it to end bad. And it's like, why not end it bad? Yeah, end it on a bad one note. horror movie. I kind of like that one. That was, that was fucking scary. I literally, I was affected by that. Like, I couldn't sleep <laughs> for a few days after that. I'm not even joking. Which I feel, I think it's you just because I'm a sleep because of the, the shitty flight that we were on. Ah, yes. Up our that's that's what it was. No, but I had, I had trouble sleeping after that. Only because, like, I... I didn't. Un- I think what it was. This is the first time I've heard you mention. Yeah, this. I feel like we went back to the hotel and you were fine. No, no, no. You well, went to no, that's like the weird part. When I got home, that's when the problem was. And I think what it was is I kept no. thinking about it because I didn't fully understand it. And mm-hmm. so because I was thinking mm-hmm. about it, I like psyched myself out and I made it cre- like creepier than it actually was. But it was a creepy film, and I think that's what it was that I fully didn't understand it. So I kept rolling it in my mind, and that just made me think about it. Yeah. So it did did affect me. Yes. Other highlights from California? Um, the oh. The Sheet Wow. The Sheet Wow. The Sheet Wow. Sheet wow That's a comedy. The best comedy. Yes. Aaron I don't want to say we that lost guy. to, but... Because um, we weren't even in the running. That but dude we, that did do the main that really liked the life directed by. Yes. yes. He was complimenting it a lot. He... He is he is good. He's mm-hmm. good did what he does. And he won multiple things. Oh, my... He? Oh, the funniest thing was, like... Uh, they they had this thing called CMF pitch where like someone did like a two minute pitch for a film to get funding mm-hmm. for and then mm-hmm. so they played like they're like okay and we have the winner his name's blah 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 and we're gonna play his pitch for you and they played this pitch and it's this really sweet kid and he's like um yeah like I really want to do this um documentary something about, about charity about the healing power of art yeah it's like right. it's this it's this uh, hospital near my house where they have a cancer ward and they have a program where children and parents can paint murals on the walls. And that, like, helps them recover because, like, they focus not on their sickness but on the art that they're making together. And he's like, I've done documentaries like this in the past and it's something that I really care about and I really hope that I uh, get funding for this or whatever. And then, so he wins. He comes up and he's like, this is a cause that means a lot to me. Thanks, y'all, so much or whatever. And he sits down. And then the next award is for best comedy. And it, and the one that wins is a, is a skit about reusable toilet paper. So it's a towel that people wipe their ass with, and the whole joke is that the shit stays on the towel right. when they wash their ass. That's the entire joke of the whole thing. And who wins it but the kid who may, who's making the Healing Power of Art cancer mural video. And gets back up, and he's like, well. yeah, shit. And he comes back up immediately after. It was the funniest thing I ever saw. And he said he he admitted to it. He was like, "It's basically a five minute long poop joke." And he's like, "Who doesn't like poop?" That's jokes? what it is. That's what it is. That's what it. And it was. It was good. And it's so. I think oh, the man. performance in that it's good. made it. Yes, the that, guy. The yeah. guy was great. It is. Check out all those films. They're really great. And um, yeah, because you guys, you guys have a lot of time on your hands. <laughs> I will say the best. The best part of like CMF, the CMF part of the trip was like when we showed our film, and it got such a good. Like, because like I was fucking acceptance. nervous. Yeah, I was. I was really well, nervous. I was first nervous that they were gonna do. Um, they weren't gonna play it in stereo because then half the audio would have been lost. Um, because I am horrible with audio, <laughs> but luckily they played it in stereo yeah. and it was all fine. And people like were dying of la- like I lo- and I hadn't seen it, it in a while. Then. None of the jokes fell flat at and all. And it was and great. One joke got an applause break. The Quentin Tarantino, the Quentin Tarantino, the Red Eyes joke that got an applause break. Which that was we were always worried about that joke. We thought that was the yeah. weakest one, and that one did really well. And it got. We got applause at the end, and then the Tim Burton one shows up, so people quiet down. And then they applauded it again as it was leading into the next movie. Right, right. Which wasn't the movie right after that Wishbone. And then it's like, yeah, we're going to really show you yeah, special really depressing. effects Wishbone. Wishbone was a fucking weirdo movie, but I mean, it was good, but it's like, I don't know. They, they used the a black magic camera. The kid actor in there was he pretty good. He was good. I he was, was like, wow, they found a really good kid actor. That's that is hard. 
But, they um, only asked us like one question. They did. I felt bad. Well, they asked it, us the question. It was the asked. question. They asked us what, what are the, the other direct. directors that you could have done in the sketch. In the sketch. Yeah. Yeah. Some people yeah, wanted sketch, us to make sketch. some of a, some people wanted us to make a second one. They were like, "Yeah, you can just make like yeah, fifty make a sequel." Yeah. And I was like, eh, we do could, we? We, we, could, we could. could. And that is the main point of this entire podcast. We're, we're making another What people life have been waiting for, the announcement that we're going to make another life directed by. In 10 years, it'll be yes. out, folks. We're going to take our time with it. We're going to craft it. It's like a block of clay. And we're just slowly yes. molding it with our sweaty hands. Well, well that was the thing we learned. Sweaty. That was the thing that we learned to sum up everything because we're gonna I'm gonna wrap it up here in a second. Well, um, <laughs> wrap it up. Like so a we're wrap. Back down, what else have we done? Garrett and I went to the UCB theater, the Upright yes. Citizens Brigade Theater. Oh, right. well, okay. Improv, which they have, they're uh, they're a famous improv group, and they have two theaters in New York and LA, and it's basically we saw the swarm. We saw the swarm, which is an improv comedy which team. It's funny because it was only two people. Two people. Sean Conroy, he was a hilarious comedian. They have a lot of podcasts. They're part of the Earwood Network. It's a great scene for alternative comedy, and it was the best part of the trip for me, y'all. I was really excited to do that. Well, good. I'm glad. I'm sad that I missed it. I was at the time. I was. Or was I? I went out with Keaton, right? That right. Was the time. You were with. I Keaton. did. That was fun too. We went to a penthouse sushi restaurant. Yeah. Which basically, if Keaton wasn't there, I would have never been able to pay for that because it was. It was expensive as shit. There was a lot of very expensive. I don't know. I didn't even look at it. Keaton was like, I got it. And I was like, are you sure? Because I, I did the bluff. Yeah, yeah. I was are like, you are you sure? Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, well, okay. All right. All right. If you say so. No, if you don't need to show me, you don't need to show me. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. But, um, he has $2. <laughs> it, was, it was great because um, the view, the view was beautiful. Did. And then right after that, we go to Walt Disney <laughs> Hall, and we get a private tour, and we go up to the roof, and, like, that's not part of the regular tours that they oh do. Oh, my God. <gasps> like, it was roof. Fun. The roof. Well, it was fun. It was fun because it's a place no one, no one else could. And what's so cool about it, the way that they clean the roof is they have this, like, thing on, like, this roller coaster track, and it goes around, and it cleans the roof, like, automatically. It's crazy. And, um... Walt Disney Hall is really fun. Although they, if you've ever been to Walt Disney Hall, they have this carpet that apparently is custom made. The only place this carpet exists, and it's the ugliest fucking carpet I've ever seen in my life. Like it is downright disgusting. And I'm like, someone picked this. Not only did someone pick this, someone had this specially created for <laughs> this hall. <laughs> like this, that's what I want right there. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. Ah, yeah. It was. It's a really nice instrument there as well. It was a good trip, though. I enjoyed it. It was. It was a great trip. Um, um, we missed Chelsea lately, but, you know, whatever. We missed Chelsea lately, and now we all have no oh, money. Well. Yes, now we have no money either. <laughs> well, we're two fucking jobs. That's true. <laughs> Garrett's yeah. still looking for Be a job. Be jealous. Be jealous of my I Domino's job. job. Oh, my God. I work at Domino's, y'all. It's a great company. Uh-oh, people, are, people are gonna come up and like order pizzas from you now. It's like I want Scott. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna specifically <laughs> call that store and request you to try all of my house. You can't do, do that. They're, they out they They're out of the range. They're out of the range. No, they'd be too lazy to even acknowledge it. They'd be like, "All right, Scott, <laughs> you gotta go to where's yeah." They'd be like, oh, I've never heard "You gotta of go to Cades, but you gotta pay a toll." I'm like, "God, are you fucking kidding me?" I'll give you a tip. I'll pay for your toll. <laughs> you're gonna pay for my toll in the tip. <laughs> Well, only one way. That's only gotta, one way. You gotta pay. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, we're cheap. <laughs> so California was really. Cool. I the last day. California. I got to go to the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, and I saw a lovely Stanley Kubrick exhibit. I'm not going to talk too much about it. I mean, it's what you'd expect from an exhibit from a director. Like you know, you get to see the props from the movies and everything. But it was it was really fun. I got to geek out on that, and um, we I were. also. No, but, go ahead. I'm just, just again. I just want to go quickly over in the modern art section. I saw the um, the famous painting of the pipe that has um, the words under it saying "This is not a pipe," and that's like one of my favorite modern art pieces. So I didn't know I didn't know it was challenges. there. So challenge is what you think of a pipe. Yes, it is a pipe. It is a pipe. But it's not. It's a picture of a pipe. Meanwhile, Garrett and I were at the Walk of Fame. Yes. In which Garrett and I were walking around, and if you don't, if you've never been to the Walk of Fame, there are a lot of men on the side. I didn't see any women. It was just men handing out bus tour pamphlets. Yep. And you see, the funny, the funny thing is, we're walking by, and this guy's like trying to hand a bus tour like 
pamphlet to Garrett, and he's not taking it. And the guy's like, come on, man, you want a bus tour? You want a bus tour? Bus tour? And Garrett's like, no, no, they we're just going to do the walk or whatever. And the guy's like, damn, man, can't afford free? Comedy must be pretty tough then. And then walked away. And this caused Garrett, <laughs> this caused Garrett to feel really bad. He was like, oh, man, now i got to take the next pamphlet. And we keep walking. And another guy with a pamphlet. Garrett makes the mistake of taking this man's pamphlet. And he's like, what's up, man? You want to come on a bus tour? And he starts following Garrett and me. And Garrett's like, well. I'll have to think about yeah, it. Yeah, we'll think about it. We'll come back. We'll come back. He's Which like, beans, no. He's like, listen, man. You see on the pamphlet says the price, forty nine ninety nine for each of you? Tell you what, twenty nine ninety nine for each of you right now. And then he cuts it again to $20. Cuts it again to just $20 for each of us. And he's just like, nah, I'm not really good. I'm not really good with this. And he's like, okay, well, you know what? If you come back, my name's Chris. Come back and see me. And then we could walk away, and I'm like, Garrett, why did you take the pamphlet? And he's like, no, because now I have one. So the next time I call to a bus tour guy, I'm going to say I already went on a bus tour. Right. And that's it. Solves the problem. We walk a block forward. Another guy with a pamphlet. Guy goes, you want to go on a bus tour? Gary goes, no, I already went on this one. And the guy goes, you went on that fucking bus tour, not mine. Oh, hell no. Nah. He starts following us again. And he's like, come on, my friend, they didn't even show you the Hollywood sign. And what does Garrett say? Garrett goes, like, no, you're right. They didn't show us the Hollywood sign. <laughs> Why is about going on the bus tour and what they saw? And he's like, that's right, man. That's why you should have went on mine. So no matter what Garrett did, he could not win with I any of these dudes. I was always wrong. <laughs> He Always. couldn't win with any of these dudes. Mm. Oh, man. And you guys were there for a long time, weren't you? Yeah, we were there. Not as long as the Houston airport, but we spent a good amount of time there. Yeah, we had to find your souvenirs. 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 Me and my need to go to art. And I also learned that Keaton hates modern art, which is only... Okay, I no one knows what Keaton is. Okay, Keaton is a friend of ours. It's not important. The only important thing is I've never seen someone so adamantly against a genre of art before in my life. Like, right. like I mean, I understand. <laughs> like, I, like you know, I don't like, I don't know, I don't like fucking impressionist paintings, but I'm not going to be like, go on a, a hour-long a tirade. tirade. Of, but Keaton was literally like getting infuriated of his like hatred of really? art. He cares about art. He does care about it, but it's like it's even, passion. Okay. Right? All right, passion. it's called passion. You ever never, heard of it? Never seen someone so adamantly against an art form before. But anyway, it was really cool. I wish I had spent longer at the museum because I was really, um, I was really digging it, and I felt bad that I had to leave so soon. But it was a good, it was a good trip. So. Garrett, you're the only one who didn't say what your favorite part of the trip was. What was your I favorite? don't like. Well, I do have my favorite part, but I can't talk about it. Wow. Well, <laughs> really shouldn't talk about it. Not on here. We'll talk about it at some point. Maybe. Maybe later. What about the Pollo? Tell the uh, story was the El Pollo Loco. That can be your story. <laughs> that can be your, your story. Well, is the El Pollo Loco. So we were going to all the different restaurants that um, California has to offer. We went to In and Out Burger like at least four or five times. Great it was fucking burgers. Hands down, the best burgers and the best milkshakes. Put that I've never there. had a milkshake though. The fries were really weird though. Fries were okay. Fries not good. good. Fries not yeah. good. I'll say it. But you know, burger you places are made in you fries. pussies have the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did try the. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you okay. didn't. Garrett just thought that was so funny <laughs> that he slammed his head down the table of what I guess he assumed that this table was made of. Cardboard? No, I thought I was, I was gonna go like this, oh, like all the way, table. like just close. <laughs> I went too far, I overanalyzed it. It was a hardwood table. Jesus Christ. I swung too hard. Needless to say. Anyway. Garrett has a concussion. Segway down. down into that. <laughs> Garrett starts telling a story. He's like, and then we met the cloud people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go uh, ahead, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I got cloud people. Actually, not a bad story. <laughs> anyway, so we were, so we were going to in and out and then we thought, oh well, let's go to El Pollo Loco. So Scott and I drive down to El Pollo Loco while right. Angelo and all of them went to that sushi restaurant. Never have we made a bigger mistake in our lives. <laughs> 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 well, we're getting we're getting up there, and I'm like, well, I gotta as soon as I get in, I got I gotta take a fucking piss. <laughs> and so we walk in there, and there's this argument ensuing between these two guys. <laughs> I'm already starting to walk towards the bathroom a little bit, and then it, 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 just in the span of like five seconds, this guy <laughs> walks over to this buffet. It's like this buffet of topics. <laughs> Scott, you can't contain yourself. <laughs> I can picture it so well. I can picture it well. <laughs> in the span of like five seconds, this all happens. 
and I'm slowly walking towards the bathroom, and this guy, he, like, grabs this spoon from, like, the top, and he just starts going, <laughs> for, like, no reason, I, I'm freaking out. At this point, I'm, like, giving Scott, like, the freaked out look. I'm hauling ass to the bathroom. I'm trying to go in. I'm terrified. I'm trying to, like, open the door, and the door handle is so... Fuck, it's like it was like it was made by aliens. It had like three different keyholes. It's like a casino vault. It was like it was something where you had to put like five keys in the different sides and turn them simultaneously. There was a quarter side. Like I had to put a quarter in to pay to get in the bathroom. Like that's how bad it is in California. They do have stalls like that. There are places that make you pay to go. And so I, as soon as I realized that some dude is. Okay, just keep talking. (laughs) <laughs> and so this dude comes out because it's it's only one it's only meant for like one or two people. And this guy comes out and he's got like this big thing like baggage thing pulling on to him. And I was like, oh, he comes out with full on luggage out of the bathroom. Meanwhile, the dude at the buffet has not stopped yelling. <laughs> he's like holding the spoon up to it like he was gonna eat some of the he's toppings. Throwing guacamole all over the floor and shit. <laughs> and then how is this resolved? How the cashier the lady resolved? just comes around. And says, Apparently, this is what Scott saw. The cashier lady was just like, "Hey, knock it off," and or he something just, like that. And he just stopped. And he was like. Fine. Throws the spoon down. He's like, fine. And then he walks away. No, no, no. He sits back down at his yeah, table. He sits back down and eats his fucking chicken. <laughs> As if nothing happened. As if nothing happened. It was like he has a tantrum on a daily basis in that place. That was... <laughs> that, oh was ter- that was terrifying. That was terrifying. I was like, yeah, we're going to eat in the car. <laughs> yeah. We're going to eat in we're the gonna car. We're going to eat in the car. We're going to eat in the car. We're going to eat in the car. So how was the food there? It was great. It was pretty good. I yeah. had a burrito thing. It was delicious. Yeah, I had the chicken. It was great. Oh, good. Bueno. Oh, God. I forgot. Like, oh, man. I've told that story to people, but I haven't laughed as hard as that just because, like, you telling it. Like, I get the picture of us <laughs> being there. Vividly. Just, oh, my God. Gary is over by the bathroom. Terrified. I'm, I'm just like. Just like <laughs> 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 You're just like. Scott, you want to go? Scott, you want to go? <laughs> Scott, you want to order for me? You want to order for me? I'll take a chicken burrito. Do the face. Do, do the, the face. Do the face. Do the face. Oh my I god. It face. was just amazing. <laughs> it was incredible. Fucking hell, dude. Yeah, we had an adventure that night. That was fun. No, I think that was all we did. No, we that did. was after the comedy show we went there. Oh, yeah. After that's the right. comedy show. Yeah. We did a lot of stuff. I got to see <sighs> um, this one cathedral that was kind of new, and it, it was fun. I don't want to say too much because, I mean, it's it's a lot of visual stuff that I'd be saying, so it's not. It's not yeah. good food, but it's it's it was very modern art. That was also a very visual story, but I just wanted to hear it told again because I love it. I got to I got to go into the. I don't um, care. I love it. Love it, mate. You love it. What is the thing called where they put the bonnies? The mausoleum. The I got to go in the mausoleum. I, I got to go in the mausoleum, Crematorium. and um, it's a new church. Like it was made in two thousand two, so there are like maybe twenty bodies in there. Mm. So there are just long hallways of just empty tombs basically it's very creepy it was very creepy very Crazy. dark and it was fun would have gone and like tried out one try out. you can't open them they're yeah, like marble casing yeah i think i want this i want this this will be good yeah this is this is gonna be great you i know? want this it's, for eternity That's i want a mine. tv right here so that if i like wake up for some reason dude. and i get bored yeah that's always on that's, that's what i think on. dude that's what like i don't know i have the weirdest like death request. Uh oh. Because like, oh I, no. This is what I this is what I would say when I was a kid. Because like, I don't know if I want to be buried. Because it's like, what if what if you can like still see out your eyes or something like that? Like obviously you can't. But what if you could? What if that was a thing that you could yeah. Still see out your eyes? yeah. We don't really. Know. And then what if you get cremated? And it's like, wait, then you got no eyes. Then what's going on, right? So I was like, I was telling my mom, I was like, if I when like when I die or whatever, like if you could just build me like a glass cabin out in the woods so it's it's a cabin but it's all glass so it's all windows and then just have a chair in the middle of it and then just sit me in the chair so I can just look at nature <laughs> no that's, that's actually kind of romantic in a way I mean, some guy just comes by like a stone throws it and like steals your clothes or something <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. cut to Scott dead in a glass cabin <laughs> hey what the hey John hey, this guy's got clothes hey John come over here what the, what the? It's a dead guy. They do that. Those, they, it's those weirdos. The ceases. No, 
Nuh uh. You know yeah. about these people? Yeah. But this must be a smaller town than I thought. Kid was like too afraid to be cremated or something. Something about like you want to see. Hey, New York, New, you, you New Yorkers, get away from my father! All right. I, hey, what? Who are you? I'm his son. I come here to sweep him up and pick the worms out of his eyes. All right. He wants to protect his eyes. That's his whole thing. So you know stop coming eyes, up, stop you know coming down here from New York and making fun of him. All right. Why? Why a cabin? Why not? Why not just a box? A nice box. Oh uh, yeah, a coffin. He, he specifically requested a cabin. All right. Why? He likes Abraham Lincoln. He said, "Bury me where Abraham Lincoln lived <laughs> in a cabin." Who's, Last log. Who's the architect? I I built it myself. All right. Oh, it's really good work. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> and scene. Right. Thank you. <laughs> that was our only cut to. I had to get a cut to in before. I know. So. I was hoping that we did one. Um. So yeah, we did. A, we didn't. We did a lot of stuff, but it sounds like not a lot of stuff because it's like little things. Like we didn't do any. We a did lot do, of I mean, we didn't do a bunch. Of, we didn't have a lot of time to really do a bunch. Of exactly. Stuff. We did stuff that we're not mentioning on this podcast. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But there, but there are things that you know. We had fun. It was fun. It was definitely a very fun experience. And um, yeah. And uh, so that should be the end. Is that everything? Yes. All right. Okay. End it right now. We did. We talked about California Just right for now. Cut it off. 51, 51 minutes. minutes. Wow. I know. See, that's why I tried to cut you guys off because I tried to cut you off at the 35. Well, and it did. I saw him and I was like, nah. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, this will be a long one, but I think we, we got some good stuff out there. Hey, listen, we haven't done one in like three weeks. Exactly. So you deserve this long You podcast. deserve an hour long. Come on, we'll give it to you. You, you know what? Screw, let's just go on for another hour. <laughs> you asked let's, for it. Let's. <laughs> you wanted it. Yeah, we got it. So, yeah, like us up. And we will have a bumper or slash theme song soon if Garrett works yes, on it. I, I'll work on it now. He's working like, on it. I have to. Yes. I see. That's what I'm doing. I'm motivating him to work on it because now, now our two fans are Happy eagerly awaiting fans. it. Our two fans that are us. <laughs> Which means yes. one of us oh, is not a fan. I am not a fan of this podcast. Uh, I listen to every other podcast but this one. You know, that's actually true. Yeah, you do listen to a lot of podcasts. <laughs> well, anyway, it was fun. Keep it real, folks. All right, all right. white. Will Let's Smith. try to have a less gay ending next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right.